friends, it's Carol from Crinkled Bath Journals, and I've been a little absent lately. I know some of you have reached out, and I really appreciate that. I am still alive and well, just overwhelmed with work. I'm getting down to, I believe, under 40 days of work now before I retire. There's just a lot of assessments happening for me, and they take a lot of extra time. Sometimes I'm writing reports after work. Well, it's just the nature of the game right now, and I need to finish well and finish strong. So thank you for your patience in not having videos lately. I have been doing a little crafting. This is my messy desk. <laughs> and I thought I'd share with you what I have been doing kind of behind the scenes. Just uh, so you know, I'm still getting in and crafting. But it's such little snippets of time spread out over a morning here, an evening there. And I haven't been able to do videos. So uh, forgive the desk while I chat with you a little bit about what's going on in the junk journaling world for me. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I am looking so forward to Thanksgiving break. I get a week off and it's much needed there's been a lot on my plate with work lately, and of course, I have been spending time with my family on the weekends and dedicating time to that and being with my daughters and their husbands, and my husband had a birthday, and we have the grandbaby that we babysit every Tuesday night, and we just love that. So our lives are good and full. I'm not ill. I'm not overly stressed. Just a lot going on with work. So I'm looking forward to getting away for a week. I don't know if I'll have videos up before I leave, but I appreciate your patience and your kindness in reaching out to make sure I'm okay. I wanted to uh, give a VR shout out to Paper Confessions with Karamia. She's doing hashtag Paper Confessions giveaway to join that you need to go to her channel, be a visible subscriber. The VRs are optional, but I believe you get another entry if you do a VR for her. And she's asking that you send one thing, a 12 inch fabric snippet, just 12 inches long, either in shabby chic, vintage, or boho style, or you could do a memory decks card and decorate it, or you can also do an ATC card or your crafter's choice item to send her. So she needs the entries to be able to be to her by December 10, and then she will be doing a drawing on December 15th. So Kara, I'm really excited about your drawing and I'm hoping to make time to get that done and sent to you. So I absolutely love my job. I get to work with the most amazing students every week. And right now I've been getting to meet a lot of new students who are coming in and moving into our districts here. I cover five districts in our county. When I came back to work at the beginning of this school year, I had a conversation with my boss because I'm still having difficulty with my shoulder. A year ago in August, I had surgery on my shoulder and crafting has been my rehab really i mean i also was going to physical therapy and doing my exercises but the crafting was such a motivation to get moving again even with some pain well my job is very hard on my shoulder i was told not to return to work but i'm so close to retirement that they cleared me and sent me back so that i could finish and I just want to share with you that God has truly blessed me. He does care about the details of our lives. And so when I went back to work, I talked to my supervisor and told her, listen, my shoulder's bad. I really can't afford to have another surgery or injure it doing my job before I retire and then I wouldn't be able to take care of my granddaughter which is the plan when I retire I'll be watching her two to three days a week and she is growing she's still not 20 pounds but she is growing quickly she's a very tall little girl for only six months old she's well over two feet tall 
<laughs> that's no surprise in our family of giants. I was talking to my boss about taking Thursdays off. I have oodles of sick leave that I can take. And so I just told her Thursday's going to be my rest day so that I can protect my shoulder in the long run. And she agreed to that. So I started taking Thursdays off. It was a great day to craft and make videos and all that. And then Angela, I just have been immensely blessed by this woman. She has such a heart to help people. And she shared a dream with me around building community, which has always been very important to me. It connected us to Carrie, the paper monkey as well. And it's just been an amazing journey to dream with these ladies who have the same heart for other creators and wanting to have a very supportive community that works together. There's room for all of us to do what we love really in this world. And so why not support each other, build each other up and make an avenue where people can get a leg up and not try and struggle on their own. Because I know that's where I was feeling. It's kind of overwhelming when you look at all the things and I am a detail oriented person. I over research things. I love that Angela has a little more go get her jump in spirit. And so she balances that out for me. And I appreciate her so much. I started doing live sales with her and she keeps assuring me that it's benefiting her as well because it's less stressful. If you're not selling by yourself, it gives you a breath between different items that you're selling to make sure you're getting your documentation down right and all of that good stuff. So thank you, Angela. Well, guess what? I was taking Thursdays off and guess what day she sells. So God aligned that path before the door even opened. And I'm so grateful for that. And guess what? My son-in-law's work schedule is changing and he will not need me for daycare on Thursdays. It's just amazing. And I count it as a blessing or a miracle that it all aligned and that God's got his hand on it. And we started dreaming months ago about looking into a new platform. It's been founded by three people who helped develop Snapchat. And it's a new platform called District. And I'm sure you've been hearing about it because we've been talking about it in a lot of our videos. And we've done a bit of a soft launch with it. We've been onboarding new sellers every week. It's a community platform, meaning we're all selling in one store. You can search by seller or you can search by a tag for different items if you're looking for particular items. And everything is craft related and everything that we're selling on there that is vintage could be used for crafting is kind of the bucket we're putting all those things in as to what can be and cannot be sold on there. If it can be utilized in a crafting, junk journaling, collage, mixed media, it's it's in. So it's got a nice broad spectrum of items that people have been uploading. And we're all really enjoying the community aspect of it because there's chat rooms in there. We'll be doing some individual topic coaching like if you want to learn more about how to do shipping, we'll do a night for shipping. Or if you want to know more about how to take the photos and list your items more specifically, then we can have a night on that. So it's a very exciting time to be watching this business grow. And it's an incredible opportunity, especially those who are new. I have some items listed on there. They have regular sales on there for a set price, but then they also offer a feature for an auction. So what I have prepared to do a little trial auction, which will probably happen the week after Thanksgiving, is I have prepared two boxes of wallpaper. Now, these are full books of wallpaper. They are the entire roll and they are end to end. They are, have not been cut. They have the, the stitch holes on them. And um, I want to be able to rotate this so I can show you a little bit. So this bundle is a six pound bundle. 
and it'll be auctioned and it's got the kind of the wood grains country some tile these would make great backgrounds for filming for photographing your items if you're selling or for crafty journal pages with a rustic look at this tin tile some rusty metal oxidized pretty cool bundle it's more of the tin look more of the tin roof kind of uh tin ceiling tiles this has a nice uh this has a nice selection some brick some cement some tile some rock so this is a giant bundle i'm gonna have to roll it again and tuck it back in there and then i have this smaller four pound bundle which i'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and flip through this one is more botanical it's got some burlap look some forest some sparkly glitter this one's got some gold on it some birch wood some some grass cloth look so here's some more of the tin ceiling tiles yeah so a nice whoops so a nice variety of botanicals and patterns in this one the colors are kind of these grays and yellows some blue tile some florals nice big prints so this will be the four pound bundle and like i said this will be on maker's market as an auction item after thanksgiving week so i'd love it if you would say in the comments below if that's something you're even interested in so this lid off i shared with you over the past mm, several months uh projects that i had on the back burners uh, i haven't had any high pressure uh need for a deadline for any of these things thankfully i have this it's a yearbook cover and i had showed you that i, I had somebody ask me for a custom journal where they can tuck in a bunch of family letters so some are typed some are handwritten but they wanted to save them all in one place and so I found this yearbook and gutted the pages and then I just put two signatures together that are index pages from an atlas and those will be the signatures but I wanted pockets to go in here and I'm going to expand the spine after I add the pockets because obviously this is going to be very bulky once all those letters go in. Uh, I will link in the description box below. Uh, Angela has a large page pocket tutorial on her channel. And then Carrie also used some of Angela's tutorial to make a video. And she did some large page pockets. And so I've slowly been working through that, making pockets. There's this one, and because it's folded, each of these will be a top a pocket, but it looks like a tag, and then these will go on the pages in here. And then there's this one here, this way. Similar concept, just not the tag shape. And this one folds this way. There's this one that has um, that has one pocket here. We'll have one behind. I haven't glued these yet. And then a giant pocket here, and I could even do another one behind. 
I think I might have done, yeah, I did two of these where they have these pockets. These have been really fun. It's nice to be able to have some time to craft, although it's not been enough time to video, unfortunately. Yeah, so two pockets there. And then this is like a, a big folio pocket where I can put something larger across, just make this into a little pocket. That has been one of the things I've been working on. As you know, I was trying to do the 100 day challenge. I I think I got about halfway uh, randomly. Uh, I didn't do a separate video for everyone. I incorporated them with some other challenges and I have a collection of everything that I've made so far that needs to go into these journals. If you remember some of these things, here's my little, oh, that one still has matches in it. I thought I had, uh, I guess I set these aside, uh, but I had shown a video of making those into little matchbooks, uh, into notebooks. Uh, these are just a couple, because these are domestic arts journals. These were some from, uh, some things I made from Karamia and Bibi's sewing pattern challenge. And so I stuck those in here. I've got some Cheerio boxes, but, and then I've got things that I've been tucking in here along the way. Some of these things that I did for the 100 day challenge. I, I did some shorts with that. And like I said, I incorporated, but I wanted to cover these individual pages or at least some of them. And so what I did, let me move this aside. Move these over. Recently, I purchased and printed out Meg's dish towel collection off her Kofi, and I will put a link for that in the description box below. So she did some digital scans of some really cool. Oh, that was a misprint. That was my fault. digital prints of some really vintage dish towels, which I just think are fabulous. And I love how the grain of the fabric comes through in the images. And I'm going to glue these on to the divider pages and then cut, cut the ed edges off. So I didn't cut these down at all. This one printed smaller, so I thought I would just go ahead and save it and maybe do a pocket with that. If you're interested in these, you can go to that Kofi link for Meg, and I think they were just a couple dollars. Very, very reasonable. This is my 2024 planner. I have always had a planner that started in July and ended in June because I've worked for over 20 years in the school system. So now starting in 2024, although I will be working through the beginning of January until my birthday, which I'm planning a challenge for the month of January to celebrate my retirement and my birthday. It's that old freeway sign birthday. <laughs> We're going to celebrate big and uh, I have my crafty friends, Angela and Carrie, are helping me with a challenge. I think it's going to be really fun and it's coming together. I decided I was going to make my own date book for 2024. And I pulled these. I just recently got these in a thrift haul. And this is inspired by Hazel Anaka. She is making her own date book for 2024. And so I just started pulling some pages for each of the quarters. So I'll have four signatures, January, February, March will be the first one. So I kind of pick some, we camp every winter, which just seems strange to some people, but it's California on the coast. It's, it's not bad. <laughs> We're not camping in the snow. 
I pulled some pages from the YS Ikea book. I sent the rest on to Carrie for her sh shabby chic new shed nanigans. And this is April, May, June. So I haven't collected all the pages yet, but you can kind of see. Oh, this was my one of my tags that I got from Marcy at Creators Call which she actually just did a video where she used some of these images. And I want to mention hashtag innocence, a project with a purpose, because it's for human trafficking, child trafficking awareness. And she made a bunch of these tags with some Holly Hobby looking figures to raise awareness for that. And that's a cause that's been near and dear to my heart for many years. And I was explaining to her that, that we learned that our research with purchasing is one of the ways that we can support ending slave labor because child and adult slave labor happens most in certain industries like cotton, coffee, chocolate, they're some of the biggies. At the very base of the pyramid with the people who pick the cotton, the coffee, the cocoa berries, those people, even if a farmer gets paid fair trade, they still may be using slave labor to get the product that they are selling for fair trade. So it's very good. There's a lot of opportunities out there to learn more. Call and response was a big push 2008 sorry i'll have to look up that date but not for sale is a national organization rescuing people and sharing awareness of human trafficking anyway marcy thank you again this was from the christmas in july swap and it, it's getting a place in here just because i love the colors for spring For July, August, and September, I just grabbed some really summery sunflower camping checklist. We do a lot of camping <laughs> all seasons. Uh, so this is kind of a garden thing. We usually grow a garden. And so that's kind of the start of that. And then fall, I have mostly fall because that's kind of what's happening right now. And it's been on my table. I've got some pumpkins. I got another one of Marcy's tags. I have some pages from the Amazon Wish catalog and then a mason jar. My husband always makes our fresh jam every November. And so I kind of pulled things that I anticipate are common in our different seasons that we do and so I just tucked them into a Reader's Digest book like Hazel did, and I will be sewing that together and hopefully have that done before January. And then I have pulled some pages from an old magazine of Greece <laughs> because I really want to do a sleepover page and talk about renting VHS movies to watch at the sleepover. And so I need your help. If you were a sleepover attender in the 80s, could you please put in the comments your favorite sleepover movie to rent in the 80s? Because I think it would be super fun to bring that list when I do the page. So thank you for that. Memory keeping has not been put on the shelf entirely. I hope to come back and do one of those with you very soon. And then last but not least, our, my, my daughter last Christmas designed my logo. On my YouTube channel, I believe it is still a actual paper logo that I photographed. I did it three-dimensional and took a picture of it. And I still love that original logo. 
but last Christmas she took images from my Instagram posts, some lace, a doily, a sewing pattern, a little bit of fabric, a paper bag, uh, a star chart, some black and white grid paper. I know you can't see the details in this, but she had made this logo for me and she had some teeny tiny quarter size stickers made for me that I could put in the back of journals. And then she also got me an embossed seal and she gave those to me for Christmas last year. Well, recently she redesigned the stickers and got these both thank you stickers made for my live sale packages, which I just think is so fun to be able to add those. And then she had these made, which are water resistant. So you can put them on a water bottle or wherever you would want to display it to remember me. Thank you. These are going in my packages and I just think they're really fun to be able to share with the people who've been supporting my small business. And I'm very grateful to my daughter for her creativity. This is my younger daughter who is doing well. Thank you for those who have checked back in on her. Uh, she went through ovarian cancer treatment last year, chemotherapy, and she is doing very well. Her hair is growing back. She's feeling better. And she was having trouble with some heart palpitations, tachycardia, and that is subsiding a bit. And she's, she's getting healthy again. And so I'm very grateful. You guys prayed so many of you prayed us through the last year with her medical treatment. And then our daughter who was pregnant was having difficulties and had a very scary delivery and everybody's doing well, is healthy and growing and improving. It just feels really good to know that I have such a supportive community that thinks of us, that cares about us and that praise for us. And I hope to reciprocate that with you, to care about you. I love to have comments and get to know you better. So thank you for that. Thank you to new subscribers. The channel keeps growing and I really am so excited to have you here. And I hope you find a reason that you love to stick around. Thank you for sticking it out with my desk today as the only thing you can view. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.